Hello my friends, Devon Lennox, Photo PX here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys in one simple tool, how to even out uneven backdrops in Affinity Photo. All right, so here we are in Affinity Photo. So, uh, photos loaded up and we're gonna kinda get started. So, um, I am using iPad Pro. This is the iPad from 2018. And this is a 10 inch version of the iPad Pro. Photos loaded up in Affinity Photo if you'd like to best practices we have a video showing how to import photos for the best practices to make sure you get the absolute best resolution uh, but suffice it to say the photo is loaded up i'm going to show you guys right now what i'm talking about with uneven backdrops so this is this is what i'm talking about so you'll notice in this photo if you we kind of we kind of look closely here let me let me get rid of a couple of windows that we don't need okay so watch as i'm zooming in here you'll notice on this side of the backdrop it's very bright uh, the light is kind of coming in from this side and it's kind of straying across this side of her face. And then over on this side, it gets kind of dark. Do you, are you, do you guys, are you guys tracking what I'm, what I'm talking about here? So it's like, you'll notice on this side over here, the right hand side, it's very bright over on this side over here. It's very dark. It kind of gets a little gray as well. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that in affinity photo. That's what I mean when I, when I say uneven backdrops, uh, that's what I'm talking about. So when you're using, uh, I'll give you guys kind of a, a breakdown of this. This is a one light setup. But when you're using only one light, uh, depending how the light is positioned, sometimes it doesn't hit your backdrop exactly evenly. And when that happens, depending on how close the model is to the backdrop, will determine how the light is gonna spray across the backdrop. Um, in this situation, the model is kind of close to the backdrop, the light was only hitting one side, and then everything else fell off the shadow. So in Affinity Photo right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. So basically what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna doing, be selecting uh, the background and we're going to be using um, an average layer using the brush tool um, and then also a saturation layer to even out the backdrop drop layer so this is the before and after you'll kind of see that the selection isn't perfect but that's not my goal to show you guys how to do perfect selections in affinity photo I'm just showing you how to fix backdrops here so uh, we're going to delete that and we're going to get started so after you load up your photo you're going to go into the selections persona we're gonna go over here to our smart selection brush and we're gonna make sure this is set to add and we're gonna leave the width maybe at about 60 pixels, 60 to 100 pixels, somewhere around there. You're gonna select your backdrop and we're gonna do that, select your backdrop, select there, select there. Now I'm not gonna do this perfectly just because I'm just gonna just show you guys how to do this really quickly. Um, we're gonna just get rid of some of that hair and that little thing on the shoulder all right, that's good enough. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our layers panel. We're gonna hit add, fill layer. Okay, so what you're gonna do now, uh, that basically added a color layer of whatever color you have selected here in the CMYK RGB slider um, to then use as the background. So what I'm gonna do first and foremost is I'm actually gonna go scroll down to gray sliders. I'm gonna set this at 50% gray. The reason why I'm setting it as 50% gray is because that's the neutral color uh, that we use in photography to basically dictate uh, even exposure, even color, all of that. So um, when I set it to 50% gray and then I set this, uh, basically this layers, um, this layers, I guess it's kind of like a layers uh, mask or not mask, it, it sets how the layers are actually going to affect um, the selection below it. And uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to set this to average. What average basically does is it evens, it takes the, the culmination of the layer that's, that's currently selected and the layers below it in terms of color, saturation, tone, luminosity, uh, things of that nature. And it culminates all of that into basically medium gray or whatever you have set on the layer. Um, it averages out all of that stuff. So it averages out color, it average out, averages out saturation, hue, uh, it averages out luminosity. All of that stuff gets averaged out on the average layer when you have this as your um, your interaction or your your layer mask, whatever it is. Uh, I forgot the name of this. I don't know why I'm blanking on the name of this, but yes, uh, this is this how this is how the layers interact. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically uh, adjust the opacity here, so it's somewhere between fifty to seventy percent. Um, the reason why I do that because I don't want it to be completely gray and then lose all the color. So I, I set it to usually about like let's say sixty or so for this photo. Okay, so that's, let's show you before and after, that's where we're getting right there. Okay, so next thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to layers, uh, fill layer. This time we're gonna change this, oh, it's a blend mode is what it's called. Um, we're gonna change that to color. 
go back to our little color selection right here. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the uh, photo persona. persona. Um, I'm actually going to delete or minimize this layer right here. You're going to come over here to the ink dropper. We're going to select a color somewhere in the middle of the backdrop. Um, and then that's going to set it to right here to our actual color picker. Um, we're going to select that in recent color. And we're going to go here to fill. Uh, by default, when you change this color right here, it also changes that fill layer. Uh, so basically what I'm doing when I'm using the color picker, I'm picking that, I'm, I'm like basically uh, disabling this layer and then I'm coming back to it after I pick the color. So right there, that's how we're gonna get the color of the backdrop. You'll notice that it went from this light gray to now a brown. Uh, let me actually go back to the selections persona and just de deselect that because we don't need any of that anymore. Um, and then now you'll notice instead of a light gray, we're getting a light brown. And then now we're going to set, set that opacity to 100% to get whatever color that you want. Uh, you can just go over here and you can change this back to CMYK or RGB. And then you can adjust, adjust the color if you'd like to whatever color you want it to be. Uh, my goal is not to change the color that was there. That's why I use the color picker. Um, so I'm going to go back to the brown that was there because I don't want to actually change that. But you can change that if you'd like and you can change the, the saturation of it and things of that nature. Um, but that right there, let's kind of group these together and I'll show you what that did. Uh, let's get out of that. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. And you'll see the before and after difference. That's how you even out the backdrops. From here, now you can basically go into the other tutorial I recorded on how to change the color and then adjust it accordingly to whatever your specific visual need or your idea or your vision was. Uh, but that's how you even them out though. Uh, as you notice, the, the saturation and, and the, uh, the brightness on this side was way brighter over here and more saturated and it got really desaturated and kind of dark over on this side. And then once we do that, we even out the whole thing. So over here is pretty bright, over here is pretty bright as well. Um, if you want it to be more even, you can upgrade this even more. And then now you get an even, even more uh, even back, backdrop. Um, that's just kind of up to you. But that's just that's one way to do it. You can also, I'll give you guys another tip as well. You can also set this instead of average to lumosity, and that would further change the uh, the exposure of the background, the brightness of the background as well. Um, I don't normally do it on lumosity because I think it's a little bit too strong depending on how the photo was shot. If she's standing up like this, lumosity works great. If they're sitting down, average works better uh, in my my personal experience. But uh, you guys can use whichever one that you think is best and we'll just kind of leave it at that. So average or lumosity. Again, I think average is just a little bit more natural, but it still fixes it. It doesn't look as bad as it was before. Uh, but either or, and I'll show you before and after with the lumosity fix. Before and after. Uh, I know the color of the background did change and you would just go in here and we just play around with the RGB and the CMYK. Um, basically, I would just probably go to HSL and I would just increase the saturation uh, to make sure it looked a little bit more similar. It was kind of like sort of like that, but that's how you fix it. So um, I hope that was helpful to you guys. I hope that you find some value in this video. Uh, maybe that kind of uh, unveiled a little bit of mystery on how people, how photographers are fixing, you know, backdrops because we don't always shoot it evenly. Uh, so sometimes you do have to use these techniques to fix it, unfortunately. Uh, so that is the way that we are fixing it in, in Photoshop or Affinity Photo or Lightroom. Um, all the all these platforms work exactly the same way. I will be doing future videos on showing how to do these in those platforms because they're a little bit different. But uh, suffice it to say, that's how you do it in Affinity Photo. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. I hope I added some value to you guys today. Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We absolutely love to have you as a part of the team, as part of the, the unity, the family. Um, please leave a like, comment, and comment down below if you found this video helpful or you have any questions or something I missed that was important to you, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, my friends, peace out. Have a great day. And walkie, brother.